in the light heavyweight kickboxing division. Introducing first, bringing to the red corner, from Atetra, Greece, Georgios Verones. Here he comes, strutting his stuff, wearing his flag proud. Nice little move there. I thought he was going to do a backflip real quick. Got a little nervous. Seems to be very excited. I wonder if he has any Muay Thai background wearing those Muay Thai Venom. I don't even know what you call them. I just know that, I just know that a lot of Muay Thai fighters wear them. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, making his pro debut from Haverhill, Massachusetts, USA, Isaiah Ocasio. Hey, Sensei, better known as the YouTube Sensation. He's got an incredible following. I mean, it is his professional debut, but don't count him out just yet. He's been a martial artist for his entire life, I'm pretty sure. And luckily, we have the victor, Ross Turbo Levine, joining us for commentary on this bout. Yeah, looking forward to uh, calling this fight. He's actually fighting uh, a teammate from the, the gentleman that I just fought. And FaZe is a longtime karate guy. So it'll be nice to get on and, and talk a little bit about this fight. Hopefully, it's a great night for karate. And interesting for FaZe because He's been commentating and doing demonstration videos for years. All those followers that you mentioned, but here he is. This is, this is real fighting. So a lot of people are interested to see if he can convert the YouTube views into fighting. Heavyweight division. You're a referee in charge of the action. Referee Shazza Janay. Reintroducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighs it officially at 180 pounds. He is a former Greek national kickboxing champion representing the EFL Academy fighting out of Eritrea, Greece with a record of three wins and no losses, Kyrgos Veronis! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighs in at 179 pounds, standing at a height of 5 foot 11. He makes his pro debut tonight here with an amateur record of two wins and no losses. Some of you, some of you know him as an interna international YouTube sensation and a karate kid black belt, representing Ocasio's true martial arts gym from the USA. Haverhill, Massachusetts, USA, Isaiah Faye Sensei Ocasio. Lots of fans in the house for Faye Sensei tonight. And USA now, came to play. Yeah, and anybody who has social media peers, here to root him on, KSI, Mini Minter, hmm. several others. Anyone who's not following Faye Sensei, if you tune in and follow him now on Instagram, their whole camp has been filming stuff in the locker rooms too, so you might get some cool content there. Awesome. That's the voice of Ross Levine. Congratulations on your victory, sir. Thank you, sir. Well deserved. We'll talk to that between the rounds. You got it. Because I want to hear about the end of that fight. Now, Faye is his first professional fight, but millions have seen him fight as he was on the undercard of the, the big KSI Logan Paul card last year. Came out victorious there, so let's see what he does as a pro. I'm glad you're here, Ross, Faze because I bring own. nothing to the table in kickboxing. <laughs> Those high kicks for Veronis early on, followed by those knees. Oh, oh no, Faze falling down quickly in the round, getting that eight count. Yeah, the short the overhand, short, uh, short left hook over the top. Um, you know, sometimes the, the karate style is great, but there are certain holes in the game. You know, you'll see Faze standing sideways a little bit more so he can use his front leg. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Let's and see if he, no, we're going like to call that. that a trip. He's definitely going to bring is. some excitement. Karate is in the house right now. Face Sensei showing a lot of side movement, bladed stance. I'm sure we'll see more of that spinning action from him. 
but Verona's continues to push forward. Vicious knees. I gotta say, I think that's the first couple knees we've seen tonight. Ross, in kickboxing, we tend to see a lot more knockdowns. At least it seems like that to me. Is that due hey. maybe to being off balance a little more than normal in boxing anyway? I'm not sure if it's that. I think it's also the combination of uh, there's extra weapons being thrown into the mix. You know, in boxing, it's it's limited to the upper half. Uh, obviously, there's there's a lot of technicalities in boxing, and that's why they call it the sweet science. But, um, you know, you're looking at taking boxers and giving them kicks, knees, sometimes elbows, um, and multiple targets. So I think there's just nice more, cross from FaZe. more weapons to do damage with. There's a nice spinning hook yeah, kick from Yeah, he's trying FaZe. to find a home for that one. Those are the things that most traditional kickboxers are not used to seeing, so hopefully FaZe can keep this going and, uh, you know, make this work for him. But Verona's is sticking in there. We're going to call that a trip. That was a nice high kick. Sometimes the canvas gets a little slippery. And he hit the canvas hard. And despite all the fancy stuff, Verona is doing, doing pretty well coming forward, just yeah. plodding and keeping throwing nice, strong basics. Seems to be favoring that high kick. Getting high on that guard of phase. I find that interesting. You know, you see phase throwing a lot of side kicks and spinning kicks. You'd, you'd think that Veronis would want to slow him down with leg kicks. Instead, he's trying to slow him down with those vicious knees. Yeah, I think a lot of times it's pressure, too. You know, the, there's been a lot of interesting fighters. Uh, guys like Raymond Daniels, he, uh, you know, the, his, the banes of his fighting was just pressure, forward pressure, and it seems to be what Veronis is doing as well, He's trying to push him up against the ropes and limit his movement like that. Crowd him, throw the knees, and wear him down. You can't give a karate guy space. Definitely not. You know, FaZe is known for his flashy moves, but sometimes is it better to stick with the basic? Yeah, you, you have to be able to do both, w without a doubt. Um, you know, all that flash is great, but when, when you don't have the basics to back it up, uh, you have nothing to fall back on, so come some some karate fighters become one-trick ponies. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting transition for him. I thought he did well in the first round. Definitely give the edge to Veronis with the knockdown. Um, but we'll see how he continues. And his coaches are going to make some adjustments. Uh, in the meantime, looks Veronis uh, is looking really fresh. So we'll see how the second round comes out. Ross, real quick on uh, how your first bout, or excuse me, your first round went. You were clipped really, really early on in round number one, and yep. it looks like FaZe same thing um how do you react to that happening so quickly uh, you know it's just i was fortunate my fighter didn't really pressure a whole lot so he allowed me the time to take a step back and gather myself and, and come to my senses a little bit and make sure i knew exactly what i was doing where i wanted to go and get my feet underneath me um you know i advise the same for him he, you know, he took some time he slowed down a little bit he stopped spending a lot of energy uh, I would focus a little bit more on my basics and then open up more uh, more periodically with the flashy stuff instead of leaning on it so much. Yeah, I think FaZe needs to go back to basics right now. A lot of one-twos. Chop the leg just like he's doing right now. He looks fresh out of the corner. But in true FaZe style, I think the swagger is going to continue. Veronis is pushing forward again, you know, same style as the first round. It worked for him. He's going to keep it up. Good pressure and knees. Nice leg kick. There, there, there it goes, Manny. Yep. Called it. Good overhand by FaZe. Veronis continues to be very successful with those powerful knees. That might have been a little blow. A little too close for comfort on that inside leg kick. As FaZe continues to find any spot that he can land with that spinning kick. Verona's just going back to the well there with the leg kick. It's working for him. I mean, we didn't see it in the first round, but seems like this is what his coaches were telling him in the corner. So, great adjustment. As a southpaw, I feel like that's always a good place to attack. Legs, body. Yeah, that left kick is always going to be available for him, uh, and, and, and FaZe <laughs> doesn't seem to be countering very much. Jinx. Good spin kick there. Again, another slip. It happens when you're constantly moving on your feet. I tell you, anyone that's been kicking the fire tire time or two knows that they don't feel very good, so those are going to start to take their toll when the fight goes on. I agree 100%. We'll see them start favoring pretty soon. 
especially the inside leg. And he's not doing anything to check him, so. Good right hand. Oh. And that's how he should be setting those up, you know, back strong basics. He's, he's finding a home for that right hand. Uh, I think he's expending quite a bit of energy, though, and in the meantime, he's getting cracked on that leg. So I think a little bit more patience, find his boxing. Uh, in the meantime, he just can't really seem to stop Veronis here from plodding forward. So you got to give it to both fighters, both continuing to move forward, not backing down. Faye is staying true to his karate background. Looking for that boot sweep. He's getting a little disgruntled in the round right now. It looks like he was starting to limp a little bit. Yeah. Seeming a little dazed with that one. Yeah. His legs are a little wobbly still. Let's see how he comes out of this. I don't like the look in his eyes, guys. It, it looks like he's a questioning self just a little bit right now. And the moment you start questioning yourself, not a good look. Got 10 seconds left to catch a little break here. Let's see what Veronis can do at the end of this round. Faze escapes Survives it. Survives round yep. number two. All right, there's a big moment here for FaZe. His coaches need to make some type of adjustment here. He had a couple of glimpses of, of nice work with the overhand right. Um, but Veronis, man, his, uh, his team just gave him all the right advice in between rounds there. And, and you see the result. That strong leg kick setting up the straight left. Definitely showing the level that they are at right now as fighters. You can see that... Veronis is making the appropriate adjustments. He's listening to his coach. However, FaZe seems to be sticking to his original game plan, but sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do to get the win. Hey, Ross, walk us through the end of your fight. Uh, you know, I, I, early in the, I actually just got a chance to watch it on video. A buddy of mine from Brooklyn uh, sent me the clip. I uh, hit that him with fast. the. Yeah, I know. They're good friends. I hit him with a good overhand early on uh, that stuck on the chin. And uh, it, maybe it just took a little bit of time because we separated and he started wilting away and backing up. And uh, when I put the pressure on, he just kind of waved it off. So I don't know if he was uh, truly Ladies hurt or if he was just getting tired and he felt himself giving way. But uh, either way, a win is a win. And I felt strong out there and I was able to pull out a victory. Yeah, you looked a little confused or aggravated. I don't know what or... Eh, not so much aggravated, but, you, you know, if you come all the way out here to, to beautiful Dubai and you want to get a big knockout, so, yeah, yeah, so. But a win is a win, and that's the most important letter you can get there. I think um, Baronis is smelling the feet on FaZe right now, and he's just completely bulldogging him. Giving it up to FaZe, though, continuing to push forward, throwing those bombs, trying to find a home for him. So Jody, how, how do you like in this uh, kickboxing? Oh, that was an I'll tell excellent, you what. excellent defense from Faze. It is exciting. These blows coming from all different angles, all different oh. tendencies. A little interesting seeing the people go down so much more. And you know what? Even when you're not dropped. I have blood on my forearm, blood on my dress. Faze is lucky I like it. Comes to the territory, Maddie. When you repeatedly hit the canvas like this, even if you're dropped or not, that has to take a lot out of you as well. Oh, absolutely. One of the worst things, uh, especially in, in traditional Muay Thai, you know, when you've got somebody that you, you feel like you're beating and you can you have the opportunity to sweep them and make them get back up, it takes a lot of energy. Not to mention these spinning kicks. Are, he's using his entire body to try and throw this weight into it. Um, you take a tired fighter. Yeah, that was a tough, there you tough go. kick right there. And you have to think maybe he feels some pressure to, to do some of his, his fancy moves out there for his YouTube viewers, but... You, know, you can't worry about them in the We are done for the evening for phase. But, you know, he showed true grit. A lot of confidence in him still. He knows that he's new to the game, but you know what? I have a feeling we're not done with phase sensei. I agree with you, but you know what? Let's give it up for Georges Veronis, man. What a performance. He was not uh, phased <laughs> at all. He, by, uh, he had those strong, strong leg kicks the entire time, capitalizing on those tough knees yeah very good basics and um i think the biggest the biggest factor in this victory was his coaching staff they made some awesome awesome adjustments between the first and second round made a true difference and you saw uh face sensei just kind of drive down 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 towards the end of that second round and then the third round he got that finished 
know, nothing can be sweeter for you as an opponent when you're brought in and everybody's hoping you lose and, and everyone's talking about the other guy and you get to kind of shut everybody down and say, hey, you know, I'm the real deal. Yeah, that underdog mentality is, is uh, it's a game changer if you can utilize it and kind of harness it and push yourself forward through all that. Yeah, that momentum carries a long way. All the way from Greece. While we wait for the decision, tell us a little bit about Bryce Mills, the guy we'll be seeing here in a little bit. Uh, Bryce Mills is a little firecracker. <laughs> that kid is strong. He's fast. Uh, he's young, athletic. I mean, look at not, the crowd. They call you him see the, the owner boy. right here, the owner of Five Ponds, having a night as he should. That's Ref what it's all about. Call a stoppage. At one minute and 20 seconds, in round number three, declaring your winner by TKO to Jorgis Veronis! Much deserved victory for Veronis this evening. Absolutely, heck of a performance. I'll give him a round of applause. Rosalvin, thank you so much for joining us for this battle.